and welcome back. So in today's tutorial, we will be exploring one more topic into ServiceNow that is record producer. So let's first try to understand what is record producer in ServiceNow. So record producer in ServiceNow is a type of form that allows users to create a new record in a specific table such as incident or task without having to navigate to the table and manually create in a new record. Okay. A record producer can be customized to include specific field okay, and information and can be used to streamline the process of creating new records. So for example, if you have incident, you just want only a couple of variables to be exposed to the users okay, and based on that variable, you can create an incident. You can also write a, your own logic to predefine certain attributes out. Okay. So one thing will be coming in your mind, what is the difference between service catalog and record producer then? So it falls into the same category, okay, but service catalog is more on the IT service side. So service catalog allows users to provide certain information on uh, via variables and it will request an IT service for them. Okay, for example, if you want to request an hardware, if you want to request a software installation, all these things can happen via service catalog. While the record producer allows users to create a new record in the system. For example, if you want to create an incident, if you want to create a, a case or go, it can go on. Okay. So in this case, we can use record producer. So let's jump into the demo for the same. So in today's demo, I'll be using the reference of my previous implementation only for the parking application. And uh, what we'll be doing, if you have seen that application, I just want to enhance it up. So we have created this application as a part of meetup, okay, and in the parking, there is parking and meetup participants, okay. So what we have to do, this particular, whenever a record gets created into this particular table, it a parking will get allocated and the parking gets allocated based on certain fields, okay. For example, participant is one where we have, we have to select the user, then the type of the user, whether he is an internal or external user, okay. Then we have a type of vehicle, whether he is having car or bike, okay, and whether he requires parking or not. So based on this information, a parking get allocated to the user. Okay, so let's get started. In order to create a record producer, okay, you have to go to the filter navigator and type record producer. So here is it. So there are around 34 record producer out of the box present. Okay, we'll create a new one. So I clicked a new. And it will open the form. So I will give it a name called now uh, parking allocation. Parking allocation request. Parking allocation only I will give. Then we have to select the table in which you have to create the record. Okay, so I will just type meetup. It's meetup participant. This was the table. Then I will keep owner to myself only. Then we have what it will contain. So basically, first we will give the short description what exactly this record producer will do. Okay, so this is the record producer. to create participant record okay, just like that and then we have description it's an HTML thing okay so you can add whatever you want to add and customize it out the way you want okay you can also add videos images and all, so on okay so I will just give get set um, what we can give Please fill up the below form for parking allocation. Okay. So this is done. We can also customize it. So I will just make it bold for now. Okay. And I will just change the font to Cosmic Sans, change the font to 18 that's it okay for now and then we have script which we'll see at the latter point you also select an icon and picture for this particular record producer but we'll not be doing the same for now and I will save it out now as we have seen we have to select couple of attributes like user type of user 
type of vehicle and whether they require parking or not okay so these are the four attributes which we will focus on we will not focus on other attributes so below that okay let's go above then we have accessibility also where you can define catalog which catalog then you have generated data records okay where you can define a template also if you want to do and there are some portal settings okay whether you want to um, show make mandatory attachment you want to hide attachment and so on so we can go to the variables okay and let's or before that let's add it to some catalog item so i will add it to which catalog item i should add let's add it to service catalog only because it's providing some cert certain service so let's add it to service catalog also we can select the category for the same where exactly it will reside so let's select the category i will select edit and i can add it to services okay for now i will add it to services we also have couple of other configurations also like how in order to control the visibility right available for not available for if you want to do some uh, validation on client side then you can write catalog analysis and so on but this are pretty generic terms so i will not look into that now let's go to variables okay let's create a new variable out so i have clicked on new it open up the form i'll map it to the field because we want to create a record in participant table right so i will select the checkbox map to field and it gave this field option so i will give first one is participant now we will select the type of the field okay so it's a reference field so we will select reference over here then we have to define the question for it okay first order so i want to give it order as 100 i will make it mandatory and first i will give requested by type specification it's a reference we have to give reference to which table so it says underscore user sys user table if you scroll down we got the sys user table also and then we can add the reference qualifier for the same so i will just give one simple reference qualifier which is active is true okay done i will simply save it out why saving it out because i want to do insert and stay okay just to save some time now the first thing is done okay now let's look into the second attribute so the second attribute which i want to see is type of user okay so i just selected type of user and it's a choice field okay so i will select look up select box okay and it asks first of all we will define the question so are you, or i will simply give it external slash internal okay because these are the two types whether you are external or internal and then we'll give it type specification so it ask look up from table from which particular table we want to get the choices for this field okay so it's again meet up meet up participant and then it's like okay from this particular table, which particular field so i will select type of user and there are n number of configuration around the same but i will not jump into the same we can also set the default values but it's value with none so it will take some value by default only so i will do insert and stay for the same a uh, reference qualifier but it will not create any mess okay the next thing is again a look up select box okay and this time it's type of vehicle so it's a vehicle type and i will give it a order as 300 i'm not sure what order i've given for the previous one 300 we'll define the question we will give type 
and then to the type specification again meetup table but this time it will be vehicle type okay and i will just remove the reference qualifier i have to remove it from the previous one also but it will not and we have made it mandatory also so i will do insert and stay so done i will skip one attribute okay vehicle required or not okay i will show would tell you why i have i have missed it it's intentional miss okay so don't drop comments that you missed that out so we will open the catalog item now to see if everything is fine at this particular moment so if i go to the record producer and we can see we have three variables i will change the order for this one to make it 200 see okay so we have 100 200 300 perfect okay now if we try it out it will look something like this okay so let's try it out so first of all i will i will just try with my favorite user able tutor is not active or what my in my system uh -huh. so we have able tutor okay i will select this as internal and he is owning why it's coming as bike only is it bike only in that table let's let's just check quickly new tab vehicle type car bike but why it's coming on the bike mm hmm okay let's let's see on that and if i submit it out okay and if i jump to this participant table meet the participant so a new record got created okay if i bring created by now so a new record got created just now okay oh yeah and it if i open this record out so we got type of user as internal vehicle type is bike okay able to tell now one thing is remaining which is requ parking required right why i kept it the back end value for this is parking required right why i kept it like this okay because i just want to show one more feature on the same so if i go back to a record producer we have something called script okay where you can define certain attributes you can where you can set those attributes out so let's do that you can see over here the script so we will be setting this attribute while script why because if a user want parking then only he will come to this catalog item right so by default it should be true right whenever a user is requesting it via this catalog item that's why so we will do current dot whatever the field name parking required and equal to true i'll save it out now and one more thing i want to check was with the variable right one of the variable why it was just showing bike where it should show bike and car so it was vehicle type right so i'll go to the vehicle type mm -hmm. look a field vehicle type vehicle type no reference qualifier yeah everything seems okay only oh yeah
Mm-hmm. Everything seems okay. Not sure where exactly is falling apart. So we'll go to the catalog item again. Now this time we have set that attribute, one attribute from the script. I'll show you again this one. Just a small script, current dot park two. You should not add current dot update or current dot insert. Why? Because before kind of thing, before insert kind of thing, right? So you should not, you should follow the past practices for on before business rule over here whenever you are writing. So we'll go for try it again. This time I will give some different user starting from C maybe. So Cameron, I will select Cameron over here. I will give internal and why it's coming twice, twice. I am not sure. I will say bike. I think it's cookies. And now the record got created. Okay, you can see this record. And if you see, it shot internal vehicle type is bike for the user. And now we have this flag also checked. So this is how you can use the record producer. Okay, in order to create any record from the service catalog. Hope you find this useful. Okay, if yes, please like my video and follow my channel. Okay, to get such updates on my future videos. Till then, stay safe, stay happy and have a nice day ahead. Thank you.